In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to create a title block template. And as we can see here in this drawing, we have a title block template. So this is what we're trying to make. And in here in the middle, this is where our drawing would go. Templates allow us to build something up and start from that something versus starting from scratch. When creating a drawing we intend to print, we need to have some sort of sheet layout. This frames our drawing and gives it context. We can add a title block to an existing drawing or we can do this from a new drawing and use a new drawing as a template for future drawings. So what I'm going to cover is how to create a template, how to start a new civil 3D drawing, how to configure, out, configure some layouts, how to insert a standard title block, and then how to configure your template. So we're going to start with step one and we're going to create a template. So as you can see we are in Civil 3D and I'm not in any particular workspace and all I did was I just created some line work here. So we're just going to zoom in over here to the upper right side. So these are just simple squares or rectangles or polylines and right now it's been kind of W blocked together. So I've kind of created, there's a template here called enter your name and contact info, consultant, surveyor, architect, engineer, project contacts or professional, project name, project location. And if I zoom in here we have some other information that's kind of useful to have on a plan. Um, the title of the plan, so we'll just say that this one's going to be a cover sheet. It's going to be L-0.0, this is the page number. We also have some reference letters here so that we can find information in case we need to call it out as a detail. And then down here we have this little triangle here. And I drew this triangle in here because I want you to see where this block kind of starts. So in the X direction, if I click on this and I type in list, we can see, like starting over here at this triangle, this is 0, 0, so this is the origin. Which means the length of this line is 1.3759. And this is going to be a title block for a 24 by 36 size sheet. So I have it offset we have it offset here by 1.3759 units. Right now it's not set to meters or feet, it's just generic units. So in the Y direction, let's see how much it's offset. We type in list, and it is offset by 0 0.3757. And the reason why that we want to have something like this is so that when we go to insert our title block, into our actual CAD drawing, we don't have to line it up or anything. We just insert it at 0, 0, 0, and it'll automatically line up for us. So I just drew this triangle in here as a reference. I'm not actually going to get rid of it. This isn't what I want to be left in here. Once you're done making your sheet layout, your template here, you're going to W block this out. So all you're going to do is type in W block. Click the select objects. I'm going to click from lower left to upper right and select everything and then press enter on the keyboard. I want to make sure that my insert units is set to feet and then I need to save it out to a location. And usually you're going to save this out to your templates directory. Since I've already done that I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to click cancel. But for you, you would click OK after making sure that it saves to your templates directory. So once I'm done with this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this out. I'm not going to make any change, save changes to it. What I need is simply a new Civil 3D drawing. So if you don't have a new one open, you can just simply go up here and go to New. And we're going to use that Imperial template and then choose, choose Open. And the reason why we want to do that is because we want our template to be in a native Civil 3D file. So if I go up here to Layer Properties, I can see that I have all of these Civil 3D layers that are already pre-made. That kind of indicates to me that this is a native Civil 3D file. And then once I'm done creating this, what I'm going to do is click on the Application button. I'm going to choose Save As. And since I'm not really starting from 
an existing drawing. This is a new drawing because I'm going to have this be my template. I'm going to save this into my templates directory. And one handy place to stick it in would be the project templates, the CAD. And maybe in here I'll create a new folder. So this will save me time later. I'm going to choose rename and type in templates. And inside of my templates, I'm going to call this Civil 3D 24, it's actually 36 by 24 template. I mean, sometimes it's handy to have it start with an underscore. I usually have my template start with an underscore. That way I know that that's a template. And I'm going to click Save. And that's all there is to step two. The next thing that I'm going to do is step three, and that involves configuring my layout. So what I'm going to do is go down here towards the bottom, where it says Model. And I have a little button here. I'm going to right click on that button. And I'm going to choose Display Layout and Models tabs. That way I have these tabs going across the bottom here. I didn't have them here before and now I do. So before we get started, there are several things that we need to make sure that our drawing is in. And the first thing is we need to make sure that our layer 0 is active. And it should be active since this is a default Civil 3D drawing. I haven't done anything to it yet. We also need to make sure that we are in plan view. We're not in some rotated view. So to make sure we just type in plan and then press enter and it's asking us for UCS setting we'll leave it at default press enter and then we need to make sure that the elevation is set to zero and it is our thickness is set to zero and it is and the reason why we want to do these things is because when we go to create our sheet layout and then we get ready to plot we find that our line weights are not working correctly or we have some sort of weird issue like that and that usually has to do with when we went to create our layouts that we didn't have those defaults set correctly. And the only way to fix it is you actually have to delete your layout and create a whole new one. It gets to be a real hassle. So the other thing we need to make sure that we are in, if we go to the View tab, is in this 2D wireframe. If you're not in this 2D wireframe view, say you're in one of these 3D shaded modes, and you go to Plot, your line weights are not going to appear. You'll go in there and you'll set them every which way and they just, for whatever reason they just don't seem to work and this is why it doesn't work. And even after you set it back and you go to change your line weights it may still not work because the sheet layout has it remembered that way. So you actually have to delete your sheet layout and create a whole new one. So to avoid those kind of problems we want to make sure that from the get-go we have all of this set correctly. So once we have those things set correctly the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to layout 1 going to click on layout one. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go to the page setup manager. And it should open something that looks like this. And what I'm going to do is click on new. Actually I'm going to click cancel that. I'm just going to choose modify. I'm just going to modify this layout one. And here, this is an opportunity where we can set the plotter. So for now, we're going to set it to Adobe PDF. We can also set the paper size, and we want this to be ArchD. And then what says what to plot, we want it to say layout. Plot offset origin set to principal area. We're going to leave all of this at zero. Plot scale one to one. We want this to say inches. We don't need to check in scale line weights. We want this to be landscape orientation. And then over here where it says plot options, it says plot object line weights, plot with plot styles, and plot paper space last. So all of those should be checked in. Quality over here should be set to normal. And then up here, if you have a pen style table, say you're using the National CAD standards, this is where you would click this drop down 
and choose your national CAD standards. And right now I don't have that loaded here, so I'm going to be choosing none. And then we want to check in display plot styles. I'll create it, I will create a separate tutorial showing how to load your pen styles. So for this tutorial, we're not going to be too focused on that. We're just going to be focused on this other stuff. So once I have all of that set, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK here, click close here. And one thing I actually want to do is I want to rename my layout one. So I'm going to right click on layout one and choose rename. And let's just say that I want layout one. Actually, you have to double click on it to rename. Sometimes it doesn't always rename when you right click. I'm going to name this L1.1 dash master plan. And then I can just click off somewhere and it should automatically rename it as we can see here. So right now we have we are in our paper space and we kind of see this this square here and this is where our drawing is actually going to appear and then all of this out here this is where our title block is actually going to go we're actually going to resize this but we're just not going to do that right now we'll do that later we'll be concerned about resizing that later so what we're going to do now is we're going to do step four and that is insert our standard title block so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type insert so down here at the command line I'm just simply going to type the words I-N-S-E-R-T, those letters. That spells insert and press enter on the keyboard. And I'm prompted with this insert. So now I need to locate that block. So remember I W blocked out that information. That W, that standard block that I created. And I saved it into my templates directory in the CAD. Created a templates directory in here. And I saved my title block. 24 by 36 inside of my templates here. This top one is the drawing that I'm currently working in and then this was that first drawing that I created that has my title block. So I'm going to go ahead and choose open here. I want to make sure units is set to feed and it is. I'm not going to explode. I can always do that later. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. Now it's asked me for where to insert this. Now we can always go in here we can try to eyeball it and click it in and maybe we get within the ballpark but the quickest way to do this is just type in 0 comma 0 comma 0 remember we drew that triangle to make sure that things would line up and then just press enter on the keyboard and it should come in where it needs to come in now we have the issue of our viewport here which is kind of really small and we kind of want it to be within the extents of our drawing here so all we have to do is just select it click this handle up here and then we can just simply just resize it so that it fits within our drawing here simply like that and I'm just going to press escape so that I can deselect that and that's all there is to that step so the last step of our process involves configuring our template here so if we kind of zoom in over here to the right and to move around in paper space is very similar to model space you press and hold the middle mouse button or the scroll button just press and hold it down like a regular button and then you can pan around you can scroll that button in and out to zoom in and out so instead of for each and every single drawing that you have to do you have to type in your name and your contact info this would be a great place to just go ahead and just do that here I'm going to just pan in up here at the top. This is also a great place to put your logo if you have one. So if I pan down here, this stuff you probably don't want to fill in yet because it may vary. Architect may vary. Engineer may vary. Project contact or professors, you could probably fill that in. Project name and location, this is probably dependent upon the project. You probably don't want to fill that in quite yet. Drawn by, you probably want to put in your information there. And then everything else you probably want to leave blank because it could be project dependent. And then if you want to, we have L0-0 here. We can rename this to L1.1 and then call this master plan. Then down here at the bottom, all you have to do once you get this configured is right click here and do a move or copy. And then 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our copy we're gonna move it to the end we're gonna create a copy and now you have a second one here all you have to do is go in here and just change a few things that way it's unique to whatever sheet that's gonna be so let's say this first one is now gonna be our cover sheet so we'll rename this to L0.0 .0 cover sheet this one is master plan and maybe the second one's gonna be related to grading or something totally dependent upon what projects that you're working on so what we've done thus far is we've created a title block template we've created one from scratch and we W blocked it out and then we inserted it into a new civil 3d drawing which is what we did here we got it lined up the way that we wanted we also can go in here and configure this information so we don't have to do this for each and every single drawing that we create and then all we have to do is just save this remember we save this into our templates directory in our file management and that way every time we make a copy of our file management directory we also have a copy of this template so we don't have to go through all these steps every time we start a new project